guys, my name is Missy. Welcome to my channel. I am so happy that you are here today and welcome to my 2022 winter home tour. Now, if you are looking for something fun, laid back, cozy and relaxing, this is the video for you. Nothing fancy here today. I simply am sharing my home with you, you with me, and I hope that it gives you some ideas and some inspiration for your home. In this video, I am going to share some footage of some awesome snow that we got recently. We had almost a foot and our black lab luke absolutely loves the snow so i thought it would be really fun to share that with you also today now many of the items that you will see are either antiques or thrifted but if you have any questions about anything at all just drop it down in the comments and i will get back with you all right friends i said we are not going to do this fancy at all welcome to my kitchen now we're not going to spend a lot of time in here today because i do have a separate decorate with me video on this room and when you finish watching this one i'll put it up on the screen you'll just go ahead and click on that and if you want to see anything in here up close you can check out that video I did want to say here that many of you had recommended that I remove the wire so that you cannot see it going into the cabinet. And I did do that. As you can see, it is down inside the cheese grater. Now the lights are not on because they are set on the timer and I don't want to get in there and move the timer. Since we are just hanging out in my house today, and we talked about this in my decorating video here in the kitchen, I wanted to share with you the update here and the home tour. Do you remember when we talked about this hook right up here? Let me point to it right there. It wasn't doing it for me. You could really see it. It was a white hook. You all suggested to change it out to a clear one. You gave me a lot of great ideas, even painting the one that was there the same color as the cabinets. So thank you for that. I went ahead and went with the clear hook and now I'm just going to look for some greenery to put up there because I think the greenery will give it a little softness and texture as well. I have you off the tripod now because I just wanted to do this one right here vlog style. You will have seen that I found this yesterday in my recent thrifting video. If you haven't checked that out, check it out. I challenged myself to just $10 at Goodwill and this is one of the pieces and this is exactly where I'm going to keep it. And for spring, I'm probably going to put some flowers in here. I think that will be so beautiful. Before we go ahead and leave the kitchen, I did want to share this idea right here because you all seem to be loving it. And if you are new and you did not see my decorating video, I love putting these cups in these clear canisters. It's just another fun way to use your cups and it looks so cute. Let's go ahead now and check out the coffee bar real quickly. I just shared this recently. You guys love the Johnny Cash quote. Isn't that awesome? This morning with her having coffee, Johnny Cash when asked his idea of paradise. Now this was a really simple coffee bar. I'm so glad that you guys really enjoyed it. Again, if you want to see everything kind of more up close, go ahead and check out that video. I will have it linked on your screen along with the kitchen at the end of this one right here quickly now this box right here I love this and I love just the winter trees in here I think it makes the perfect simple centerpiece on this table with all of our fur babies over here in the corner I have left my tree that I had up for Christmas I just simply took all of the ornaments off of it and I just thought it gave a really pretty glow still over there in the corner. Okay, I have my hutch shut right now because I cannot get the cats to stop trying to get in it. So we're gonna go ahead, open it up. I am so happy with how this hutch turned out for winter. Are you ready to see the hutch? The grand reveal. One, two, three. 
I love how it turned out. I know you probably really can't see it all that well, but we're gonna check it out closer here in just a second. I love, my favorite part of this hutch is using this vintage radio because I feel like you would kind of turn that on, you know, a long time ago and get the winter snow updates and what the weather was going to do. So I really love that here in the hutch. Let's go ahead and start on the bottom and work our way up. Down here in the corner, I have my coffee grinder and I just have the bottom of that pulled open with some pine cones, my Syracuse china, a little bottle brush tree, and I just think that is an adorable little setup. And then I just have those lights I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Remember I wanted ones that kind of look like little snowballs? Well, I definitely think those ones fit the bill. And then here are more of those like ornaments from Hobby Lobby that look like snowballs as well and I just kind of mix them in right there. Over here I have some books stacked up and then I have these two wooden beauties on there for the wood tones and then I have my beautiful Courier and Ives print, a couple more books right here on Abraham Lincoln, and then one of those candles that I am loving so much from Amazon. Moving up now to the second shelf, and I told you this was my favorite part of the hutch. I love using this vintage radio right here. I just put a little candle snuffer on the top, and then some more books. I love using the old books. And then I have my flower frog right here with that beautiful postcard that I got recently in that antique haul and a little pine cone. And then coming down on the second part of the shelf, I have another candle back there that looks like it is losing its glow right there. We may need a new battery. Some more ironstone, little bottle brush tree, my butter, oh, it's leaving me right now, butter mold, and then a little tree back there in the background. In the top shelf of the hutch, which is my husband's favorite right now, I have my clock. I have it set to 8 a.m. And then I have that little spool and I just set a little bottle brush tree on there. I thought that was so cute. More candles that obviously need updated batteries. And then back there I have one of my um, oil lamps. It was leaving me there. And then coming over here, I did have this on my stove, but when I got my copper teapot, I changed it out, put that right here. I love this little bowl right here, and I just filled it with some pine cones. And then another beautiful print from Courier and Ives back here. Gorgeous. And then another candle back there so that kind of rounds out the hutch that is what i did here i am very happy with it i hope that it's giving you some ideas that you might not have thought about before and i just love it Let's take a look right here now at what I call my entryway. Now this is our front door. We rarely ever use it. That's why that rug is right there. But I just call this my entryway. Um, we have a small home and we love it and we just love the coziness of it. Now that right there is not part of the decor. That is a Luke toy. Lukey. He's not responding. <laughs> okay. Over here I have two crocs and in them I just have some trees that I also had out for Christmas. I love that they kind of have like this little frosted look to them. I thought that was really pretty and I just love these crocs. Um, I had them out for fall and I just wanted to bring them back out for winter. And then of course I have my church pew which I adore. And then my blanket right here. This is the one I had on my porch. I just moved it in here and it's a little messy because my black cat loves to lay right there and he props up against this big fluffy white pillow. Over here to the side I have my sled and it is here because I had mentioned to you we had all of that weather. What do you think buddy? Oh you think that's a lot of snow over there Luke and Mason. What are you doing? What's he doing? What's Luke doing? Yeah. Are you trying to get the umbrella? <laughs> you crazy dog. You crazy puppy. What's going on out here, Nikki? Oh, that crazy. 
crazy boy. <laughs> We've got a lot of snow. What do you think, Luki? How many inches, Luki? Well, it got blown over, so I just kind of moved it here inside, leaned it up on this side, so that is why that is there. Moving up above the church pew, it has changed a little. I did have an accordion rack up there, and I changed it out for this peg rack. I think I'm going to be able to decorate that just a little bit easier. So far, all I have, though, for winter are my skates. And then in the skates, I just have some real pine needles that we got off of our pine tree outside that had fallen down. I didn't put anything else on there. I just really didn't have anything and I didn't want to buy anything just to hang something up there. And then above that, I have a sign from Hobby Lobby. Thousands have died for my freedom. One has died for my soul. Now, I like that up there, but I would like to have something that was kind of arched and a little bit bigger. So we'll see if I can maybe make something with that cricket I got for Christmas, if I can figure that out, or maybe, you know, find something to purchase. Let's go ahead now and move on into the living room. On this little stand right here, I have my diffuser that I got for Christmas. I have it going with the thieves in it. Now see, that has a hair on it right there. Oh well. <laughs> And then beside of it right here in that little box I recently got, I have all my little oils. I think they just look so cute in there. And then over here, I have kind of stacked up my tins. It looks like maybe that one has slid a little bit. Move that over. <laughs> I have um, the bottom one there from Courier and Ives. And then this one is as well, the American Homestead Winter. And then I got this one, I think it was like $5 maybe at an antique shop. And I think it is beautiful. There's my little deer that I got recently. Remember I told you I was going to put a little bottle brush tree in there. And I just think that looks very cute. And then up above here, I have a picture that I thrifted a long, long time ago. I love the rustic neutral tones. I kind of feel like maybe it needs moved a little bit there. Okay. I told you this was just not going to be fancy at all, but look at these beautiful colors. It is kind of like a winter scene, I feel like, but just neutral colors. And I just thought that looked perfect right above here, above my little stand. And right over here is Lukey. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Look at him. Hey, buddy. Are you so happy? You're all propped up. <laughs> now, I normally have a blanket on here, but we're getting washed right now. So that's why that is not on there. But on my couch, I have Luke. <laughs> and then I have... A beautiful blanket right here. I can't remember if I got this last year from Hobby Lobby, but I just loved it. And then I just have this white pillow right here um, on this couch. And then I'm just going to go ahead and swing you around slowly. Over here is the other couch. And I love to sit in this seat right here. And I have this beautiful blanket that my friend Jennifer sent to me. Thank you, Jennifer. Grateful. Life is good. It's got these beautiful little trees and houses on it. And I just think it is so pretty and perfect for winter. And I got my little cup right there. So that is how this looks. Just very simple. And then over here, you all know I'm working on this area. I have added a couple of things maybe since the last time I showed you the living room. I don't know if you've seen these yet or not, but I did add these to my gallery wall. These really old spindles and those are hanging up by command strips. And then I have this wooden thing right here. Not really sure what to call it. I guess maybe a spice rack. Now I plan to pull these drawers out and decorate them for the holidays. I just haven't had a chance yet to find things for winter. And again, I just was not going to buy things just to put them in there. So we will see, I will find the perfect pieces and I think that will end up 
being very cute. And then down here, I have my table. Not sure if I'm going to keep that table or not. We will have to see. And then I have my pillow over here, also from my friend Jennifer in my green chair. Okay, and then most of what is going on in the living room is on this side over here. Now, I do not have anything on my coffee table. Um, just did not have anything I really wanted to put there. I always keep my suitcases down there. The color on this coffee table might change now that everything is getting a little more rustic farmhouse. We'll have to see, but I do like that blue color. But over here, I have some actual birch wood. I think it's birch wood cut up and put into this little fire basket. Is that what you call it? I don't know if that's what it's officially called. I do not have a wood burning fireplace. It is gas and I should have turned that on actually, but I just think it's so cute to pretend, right? So I have my wood here. I have my little stand that I also thrifted. I just love that little broom. I just think it looks really cute. So our fireplace is electric. I hope I didn't say it was gas. It's electric. On top of here, I have my dough bowl. This dough bowl is perfect for on top of here because I need something short because our TV is right above there because we do not have the tallest of ceilings in the world. So this dough bowl works out perfectly and it is filled up with pine cones and some actual pine needles. So really simple, but super pretty. Now there is like some blankets and stuff down in there. That way I didn't have to have hundreds and hundreds of pine cones, but they look really, really pretty in there. And I just love it mixed in with the pine. So just a great statement. And then down here, we're going to go ahead and look at my bookshelf. Now I am looking for a different piece of furniture for here. I just have not found it yet. Let's go ahead and start down towards the bottom for something different. Now over here, this doesn't serve as anything. I don't use it other than I thought it just filled that space in and gave more of that rustic white uh, wintry wooden feel. So I just stuck that there in the corner. Down here on the bottom, I have my butt basket filled with my little white crocheted blanket that I got. And then I just put another piece of wood in there that would not fit in the other container. And then in this basket, I just simply have several spools of like this white bobbin or thread and just some more pine needles right there. Just really simple guys. And then up here I have my large Bible and then my tiered tray. Again, we will not go into that in detail because I did share a separate video on my tiered tray. Don't you just love that little fairy light? It is on. You just can't tell right now because it is light. Right here beside of it, I just have an old doily with just the one little pine cone. I think that's all that you need sometimes. And then another oil lamp. And then up here on the top, I have my little shelf where I am collecting my vintage cats. Oh, Missy, you didn't take the price tag off. I'll have to do that. So I'm uh, looking for vintage cats to collect and put in those little squares. This right here I got recently. There's nothing in it because I just don't have anything yet. And then over here is this adorable little vignette. I have a little cheese box, a brush, another little doily, and my little snow proof leather right there. I think that looks very cute. And then moving up here onto the top, I just have another basket and then a folded white blanket on top. Lukey and I almost forgot to share our commenter shout out for this video. We're going to do that right now, aren't we, Lukey? He really just doesn't have any energy today. Our commenter shout out today is thank you so very much. There we go. Nice cozy fire. I don't know why I didn't have that on before. Yep, just like it. All right, Lukey, what do we say here at the end? What do we say? 
What do we say, buddy? We say thank you so much for joining us today. Be sure to check out the other videos on your screen right now and make sure you remember to comment because you could be our next commenter shout out. Love you all, don't we? Look at this, look at this guy. He's just living the life right here. Love you all, bye-bye.